morning, class. Morning, teacher. Today I'll teach you some freestyle skiing basics. First off, equipment. Here we have the K2 recoil. As you can see, it's a twin tip ski, obviously. It got a rocker technology, which means you got an elevated tip and tail for more playfulness, ease, and versatility. Uh, you got a really tough sidewall for all the tough rails out there. Uh, it really holds up. Bindings is their marker jester bindings, mounted pretty much dead center on the ski. Helps your uh, switch riding as well as general jumping and riding as well. The next part is safety equipment. Can you please explain to your class how you use both helmet and back protector? Yes, of course. Um, like every skier know, falling and crashing is a part of the game. So to keep yourself safe, you should always wear a helmet. Here we got one, the helmet. It's very important that the helmet will fit correctly. Another safety equipment is the back protector. As everybody can see, here we got one. It will cover your spine from injuries. It's important that the back protector will cover your back from top to bottom. Well done, thank you. Now that you know your equipment, let me show you how to use it. Before switching over to harder, more technical tricks, let's take care of the basics. In order to do so, we'll start off the kicker lesson with a simple straight air, first of which being the upright version. To keep yourself from overshooting a kicker or coming too short, each jump requires a certain speed. While approaching the kicker, be sure to keep your feet about a shoulder's width apart, with the hip, knee, and ankle joints slightly bent. Move your arms just a bit in front of your body. Don't perform any hectic movements or braking maneuvers on the last part of the in-run. The key to succeed in doing a trick is first and foremost an active and controlled takeoff. Right before reaching the lip, it is important for you to slightly lean forward in order to balance the incline of the kicker. Take off by actively stretching your body upwards. Build up the body tension to stabilize your posture. Keep up the tension during the entire airtime. Spot the landing as soon as possible. When you touch the ground, be sure to gently bend your knees and hips in order to achieve a safe landing. Keeping up a certain amount of body tension avoids a loss of control and helps to stick the trick clean. The biggest difference compared to the upright version is that you turn into a very compact posture by squatting as soon as you take off. Later on, you absolutely have to make sure that you get back into the upright position in order to be able to absorb and stick the landing. Two of the most common mistakes that beginners tend to make are the following. Not taking off actively, combined with a minimal amount of body tension. This usually results in lean pack position in the landing. The same mistake the other way around would be leaning too far forward during the takeoff. Both scenarios make it extremely hard to control the flight phase and landing. The easiest grab is the so-called safety grab. To execute it, your right hand should be reaching out to your right ski exactly below the binding. The other way around if you decide to grab with your left hand. Another way to add some style into your air is by throwing in a mute grab. To do so, grab the outer edge of your left ski with your right hand while crossing both skis. Of course, the same can be done side inverted. The grab should be set right before the toe piece of the binding. You can really make this trick your own by extending your hip and your free arm, resulting in additional body tension. I got something special for you. As you will see, skiing forward is the only option. Skiing backwards is what really rocks. At the beginning, you can immediately start in the backwards position without any previous motion. While riding switch, your stance should always be a little shifted to keep your body from turning too far by looking over your shoulder. Advanced riders steer by just balancing their body weight in different directions while maintaining their line of sight. 
Beginners might be easier off by changing their forward foot as well as the shoulder that they are looking over after every turn. In order to be able to switch from going forwards to going backwards without coming to a complete stop, you will need to learn how to switch up. The best way to try this is by going slowly over a small hump. After the takeoff, you'll need to rotate your body by 180 degrees. Line of sight is always going to need to be in the direction that you're heading. Right before the landing, you need to slightly bring your weight towards the nose of your ski. Once you know how to ski switch, you'll be able to hit a kicker and do a 180. So while doing the trick on a kicker, you'll probably even have more time in the air. During the takeoff, you simply initiate the rotation with your shoulders. Keep the landing in sight at all times. In order to avoid leaning forward too much, you should probably be mindful of a centered stance. Smoothly absorb the landing by bending your knees and make sure that your poles do not catch on the slope. Alright guys, lesson's done. Don't forget your homework. To get a feel for sliding, a simple straight box is the perfect obstacle to get you started. The basis for all tricks is the simple slide. Even though you might have quite a bit of respect for the obstacle, you don't want to approach it too slowly. Insufficient speed will make it harder for you to keep your balance on the box. Your in-run should take place in a straight and centered relation towards the obstacle. A hip width stance in combination with a slightly bent posture will allow you to take off in a controlled and active way. After that, you'll need to rotate your lower body by 90 degrees so your skis are perpendicular to the obstacle. Keeping your stance hip width and your knees slightly bent will ensure a stable position. To avoid catching an edge or slipping off the obstacle during your slide, even weight distribution is key. You should try and avoid common mistakes such as leaning backwards too far or even doing a stop turn while you're sliding. Once you've reached the back end of the obstacle, you need to stretch upwards in order to pop off the box. That way, the switch fire Japan. <laughs> By reaching that, uh, it's happening again. 